So uh, we, we have our spark plug wires here that we're going to be cutting uh, custom for the uh, engine. So back here is going to be the farthest back cylinder, which is cylinder five. Cylinder five. So we have a couple options of where we're going to route this. And this, this, we're thinking, might bolt this straight to the frame once we remove this. It's the yeah, battery tray. It's kind of hard to see at the light, but yeah. that's it right there. We're going to bolt it right down there. And uh, we're, we'll be able to route this. All the closest cylinder banks should be easy to reach. Um, this so, one is the farthest back and hardest. We're thinking maybe straight down right there. Up and over the engine and down and then into a, a 90 degree because the, his, the spark plug. His Bonneville, the spark plugs go over the engine, so it's not that big a deal yeah. if it went over. And uh, it should reach the farthest back cylinder bank right here. In fact, um, we'll probably put all three like that just to make it more neat. Yeah, we have a couple different sizes. We have these, which are just under five feet. Um, we have three of these? Yeah, I don't or know. Or no, we have, we have two of these. Two mid-length. Two mid-length and then two short ones. And then, and then an extra. I don't know what An extra, extra three We also ones. bagged up uh, a lot of the electronics because we're going to pressure wash the inside of this place. We want, a, we want a clean surface. Also, I guess we should show this too. The uh, fuel, um, oh man, that's really hard to see. Yeah, the fuel right here. These fuel lines, uh, that's 3 8 which is like a dash 6 AN fitting. Uh, I don't know what this size is. I think it's 5 16 uh, We ordered too big of uh, fittings for this, unfortunately, so we're just going to buy two more of these, but um, we're going to use twist tight um, 250 PSI hoses for these. Um, since we can't reuse the stock fuel lines because they enter the engine right here and uh, the fuel rails that we have actually enter this direction so we're going to be custom making our fuel lines going up and then around into the engine uh, or into the fuel rail so that's what we're working with right now we just need to buy some new 5 16 fittings for those we're also uh, looking at exactly where I'm going to get in the engine bay looking at where we want our battery uh, power wire to come through and our meth kit line. Oh yeah, so we and were looking, the, the, um, the wideband O2 the previous owner installed has a little tiny grommet right down there. Is the light good or bad? I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, you can see that. So that's where that comes in right there. So if we drill a hole right here, it'll be perfect. We'll have the power wire, it'll go up right up to the fuse box. We'll actually probably go under the brake booster then up over here, then the power wire will be here, meth kit will come over, and it will be right on the intake, right past the throttle body, I think is where it goes. Uh, it goes, yeah, it goes like eight inches from the throttle body. I might have to read the instructions, or it might have to go eight inches from the supercharger inlet. Because the, yeah, oh, okay. Um, the throttle body should sit right here, so we were thinking maybe a 90 degree bend, and then some mile seal, and another 90, and then maybe reusing the stock air box. I'm not sure if we're gonna do that still. I might uh, might get like the SLP um, cold air box air that Vince has, air dam that Vince has, and uh, or maybe even I don't know. I don't think that the air filter could really do a true cold air intake. Not, not sure if we'd be able to like. Not sure. You know, actually, right here, Davis. If we had like move, if we move this, it's a big hole that oh, yeah. filter could go in. Interesting. Yeah, there's a so, hole down there. That's a thought. See the light down there. We could just. I, like, I don't think we'd be able to fit anything down there, honestly. Well, if we get like the silicone, uh, to the silicone piping to go down here, Maybe. just have a filter because that's what mine is. It's a metal pipe that literally goes into the fender. Yeah, this and seals. this right here would need to move. Yeah, but I don't really know where else it could move. It might be too much of a hassle. Yeah. So. Probably get the air dam. Yeah. Because I mean that's. It's not a bad bad thing too. They're We're just gonna uh, have really to good. figure out like I don't want I don't want to break it like Vince's. I broke it by accident because the SLP design is really stupid. It's a uh, a hard plastic as a coupler, so you're fitting over the hard metal math, and uh, oh yeah, that's so it's a hard it. plastic fitting coupling over hard pla uh, hard metal. Hard plastic over hard metal, and it just cracks. Like instead of like the normal, instead of like the normal like rubber coupler, yeah, coupler that, that like by a hose clamp attaches to like the math or the throttle body or whatever. Uh, yeah, it's hard plastic that goes over it, and it just breaks. So we could maybe like, I don't know, we could use a silicone coupler between the two. Yeah, there's no reason we couldn't, and then it'd just be a better design that way. 
So uh, we're gonna work on getting the uh, ignition coil pack um, secured down. And then, I mean, we can't really custom make the wires until the engine's in, but another thing that we could do is leave them at their maximum length and then adjust it that way, you know? Okay. You know, it's not a bad idea. Um, we're still waiting on, we still need to order the fuel, the correct 5 16 fuel adapter right here uh, for the return. Um, but that's all we're really waiting on that. Um, the intake adapter, I think I already said, is kind of a bust at the moment. We're going to have to figure out how to uh, exactly... Oh, that, that battery That's box is, atta piece. is attached to the windshield wiper fluid. God damn it. It's one piece. Are you kidding me? That's actually probably what this is then. Windshield wiper fluid thing. Oh, yeah. It probably goes up. That's five probably centimeter. exactly what it is. It feels like it... Shit, okay. Oh, it just actually just one giant assembly. That's interesting. You could actually pipe the intake in there. Wait. Oh no, this is the coolant reservoir. Oh, that is? Yeah. Ah. And then this will, I think it just attaches to the- The radiator. Uh, it's like a return. Yeah. Or not a return, but yeah, like an, an overflow. overflow. Yeah. Well, I guess Why we're gonna have to leave that Why is it a battery in. box as well? Wow, that would be perfect for a filter to go in. I know, that's what I was saying. That would be Damn. perfect. It's big and open. I wonder if they get wet. I don't think so. We need the coolant reservoir. Yeah, but fuck, that is perfect. Unfortunately, mm. we need coolant. You know what we could do? Maybe we could replace the uh, the windshield wiper fluid. Reservoir is as it overflow the coolant, for the coolant. And then just use this as a filter. That'd be hilarious. But then where would the coil packs go? Yeah. But thinking, uh, I hate these bolts. I'm going to remove them. Are these... Yeah. We're gonna use the other bracket though. Are we? Because we that, that'll fix oh, it, right? I guess we can't. Yeah, we can't screw this from the bottom. So yeah, we will have to do that. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, put it right here. Damn, that's all that's almost too good to pass up. Seriously, it's a great like place that you put an intake, but it would route literally all the way around over there. I've seen people do that. Yeah. Just to get cold air. I wonder if that will uh, affect how much boost it will get. Hmm. Because that's. Because I mean that is far. cool there as well. Yeah. That'll be cool there as well, but that will cost money to get. To I get see, that air dam I and that it. box. Can you get the SLP just the air dam? Can we use it with a stock box? Yeah, you can get the SLP just air because dam. Because why buy the why they buy the SLP box when we have a box? Yeah. What is this? Is this a cap? Oh, that's a radiator cap. <laughs> nice. Just fished out the radiator cap. But we have a new one with the, the yeah. replacement. One day, maybe I'll find my thermostat. And we lost his thermostat in his Bonneville like months ago and it just never turned up. That was the last limb install. Yeah, we yeah. need to do that again. Yeah, we gotta, yeah, I gotta do it again now. Okay, well, I don't think we have anything else. We're just figuring everything out. Yeah, today hasn't been tons of progress, but it's definitely, like, more envisioning stuff. And, I mean, we got the meth kit, you know, like, fixed. We just need to run the wires and stuff. Do you... I wonder if uh, this is obscuring or obstructing any airflow. I'm sure it is. Maybe we should just get rid of it. Well, do you want your windshield wiper fluid? I mean, maybe not. I'll just use the meth. Use my, yeah, use the meth. <laughs> People do actually do that. They use windshield washer fluid as the, instead of methanol. Because it like, has methanol in yeah, it. Yeah, you can. Yeah, a lot of windshield wiper fluids. You can get ones that only have methanol and water, and coloring. Yep. And you can even get some that don't have coloring, and that's basically the mix yeah, that I have. Because the your ideal like combination is 50-50 uh, of methanol and yeah. water, so you have no fire danger. Uh, you could also do alcohol and water. Um, windshield washer fluid has like. 30 to 49 percent methanol so you could use those oh no i don't think that this obscures any air at all oh really if you look below it's all like encased so it shouldn't be a yeah, problem just to kind of give it you an idea of what the air dam does it basically rides under this so this plastic bit you actually remove and it rides under here and just like any air down there is just shot straight up into the intake I see. What about the radiator and such? Does it does sits it... in front of the radiator, or wait, uh, sits under the radiator because there's still air under it will get scooped up. Okay. It hangs lower than that. Cool. 
You know, when we installed vents is if you looked up from the top right down here, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's like a stainless steel thing. It goes straight down and you can see the reflection onto the ground. It's just like a massive ramp for air to pick up. Okay. Then I guess we'll just do that. Yeah. It's kind of, ex well, uh, if you don't get the lid, if you just get the, the ramp, it's only like a hundred bucks, I think. Oh, how much did he pay for the whole thing? 200. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it, you think it's a better designed box? The SLP lid? Yeah, because the stock lid has air baffles mm -hmm. and it has like, I don't know if we can find it, but I can show you the design's really bad. Oh, it's in here. So imagine this is the intake. So this part goes into the MAF, into the engine. It has these air baffles, huh. which direct air out. It's really weird. Really stupid, people oh, plug yeah. them up. That's, so what the hell? It's, it's really weird. And then also this is kind of restrictive on its own right there. And it has this beam here and all these baffling. So what we did on his Trans Am before he got his lid is I took a Dremel and I took all this out, took this out, and then um, I think there's some improvement that can be done in here too. Yeah, you take this beam out. And then in here, Vence's design was a little bit different. It was easier to block these off, so it was more just like a straight path. Does and then his MAF, we removed the metal film that was in there and it, it did pretty well. It almost, I think it performed almost as good as his lid at the track. So um, I have an idea. So like, we totally get rid of that. Yeah. And we use this, but is there an, uh, do you know of a, of a good way to All you see have to the do, volume of this? What you could do is you can just buy a new lid. Oh. This part you can buy from SLP, oh, and so, it's a better oh, and design. Oh, it'll clip just there. Yeah, it'll clip, on, it'll awesome. clip onto this. So you have the option of buying the, the air ramp, which replaces this part, and then using your stock lid, or buying a new lid and using your stock air, or you can just buy the whole kit and use the, lid, the new lid and the new ramp. Okay. So basically, besides the air dam and the new lid, does the SLP kit come with anything else? Uh, that we need or is that basically it that's it okay well then i just will probably buy that then yeah we'll want to do it now because it'll uh be a lot easier to install with nothing in the way well actually yeah. no you you might need to have your radiator installed first i think it attaches to it oh does it yeah the yeah. ramp does Let's see so that will that will i'll take care of that we just need to like yeah i don't want to use the hard plastic like that one we'll yeah. have to uh so use silicone We'll have our silicone Cobra head intake coming off right here. Then we'll need a 90 degree. And then we can use that straight piece of uh, steel oh, look, pipe right. that I have. And then another 90 degree silicone and then another 90 into the air dam. Yeah, we should probably start packing up if it's uh, starting to rain out here. So we have this. We have we right now. We just have a bungee cord and a bolt down there to attach it to to hold it straight or hold it better. Not the worst worst idea here. It's also not permanent, but it'll do. It'll hold it a lot better. Yeah, like that's good too. That's not going anywhere with water. Have the quick disconnects on the the uh, meth pump, and uh, we're gonna run the hard line. I guess we can't really do that now. With the and battery so there. So the battery is like like this nearly looks like it was made to fit a battery. Yes. So I'm thinking basically it'll sit like this, probably like this, and I'll probably just won't run the power wire straight down and then into that same grommet that the meth kit's gonna follow. Yeah. And it should be good. Um, and then the, the, yeah, the meth, the meth line will basically just meet it, go through the grommet together, and any other power wire that needs to go to the fuse box, but we can probably run it just to the battery, which is cool. And we'll make a, we're gonna weld up a box ourselves. Yeah, for the battery tray. Cause we can just angle grind the uh, the stuff. Yep. We didn't show it, but we took the uh, the K-member out here and power washed it and actually cleaned up really well. There's almost no grease on it. Like this so, was so all black. It was completely black. You couldn't see it. There was mounds of it. I'm getting it dirty by touching it. <laughs> it's so clean. Yeah, we still need to replace the, the engine mounts here. These are really old and just really bad. We have new stuff from a subscriber and uh, yeah I think we're gonna we're gonna it's starting to rain so we're gonna put away some stuff and move clean up the garage but after that uh, I think we can in the garage even just replace those engine mounts or do a little bit more but uh, we're gonna start working on that now all right so we didn't really record much after that we just got pretty much all cleaned up and uh, everything put away this is how far we got with the uh, the intake adapter here. This is as far as we got the intake adapter. Like, seriously, the Diablo 
metal cutting uh, saw, hole saw did not work at all. There's almost no like progress at all. We drilled holes kind of to help it, and it just did not take. So we're gonna have to figure out we're gonna have to figure out how to do this. We have no idea. It's you know we're kind of stuck on that right now. Uh, but we did break out the new welder, and this does look really rough. But for our first welds, I think it's pretty good. Um, this one was on a flat surface, so it's kind of, we had to kind of bridge the gap, and it was kind of hard. But these ones, I just cut corners off of them to get uh, welds on there. Let me show you mine. My first one turned out to be the best, surprisingly. That shows it pretty good. Just a simple weld on there, and I did the other side. Not as good, but uh, I think I'm learning this MIG welder pretty well just for simple jobs. We're definitely going to have to do a lot of practicing to make the intake work. So there was virtually no preparation on this. This was literally our first time doing it. Uh, so when we actually make the adapter, there's going to be more preparation involved with it. Um, but for first try, it was just fun to you know try it out, and we did do a couple good welds on here. Yeah, if it's if it's like if you're not careful, we saw that it's it's totally capable of burning through the steel. You can see right we, there. We were welding with this thick steel, and then we put this on, and it just burnt through it. So if if you learn there, learn yeah. a good like medium between the two, definitely. That was a lot of fun though. Yep, so uh, yeah. that's the kind of gap we were dealing with right there. Just was not even with all the slag on there. Um, so we're going to end it off there. Uh, we still have a lot to do with the Camaro. We have a lot to do with uh, pretty much everything. We just have a better idea of what we need to do now. Which is good. That's what we want. Yep. So uh, we just need to figure out exactly how to make the intake. That's probably the next big step we're doing. The rest, I mean, we're doing the uh, still doing the battery cable and the methanol injection install. But on this, we we know exactly what to do with that. We have it all planned out, and we yep. know what to do with the battery box. It's a so I mean we we've got a lot figured out at least. So that's progress in a, in itself. Yep. We, the uh, battery box. We got we're just gonna take like a, a sheet metal, kind of like what we have there, but like wider, and then with an angle grinder we'll cut like. Um, I'll sh I'll have to explain it once we have in it in like a later video. Sharpie because I I can't really explain it. It's really easy to make a battery box, though. Yep, so... Uh, we should be able to do it with our welder. Yep, well, we're going to have a lot of use with that. So, um, we got the K-member cleaned up, and uh, it's pretty much ready for the engine to go on. We just have to take the... I don't know why we didn't do this today, but we, we need to take the flywheel and clutch off this motor, put it on the other engine, and then we can pretty much... Uh, swap oil pans, put it on there, well, and it's... Well, we'll get a new clutch, but the flywheel, yeah. yeah. And then it's pretty much ready to go on in there, so... Uh, we're going to end it off there. We didn't make tons of progress, but we now have like a direction with this and yeah. learn some things. So thanks for watching. This is my cameo in this episode. You weren't in it at all. This is my cameo, though. Yeah. Show some nipple. Ooh. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> nipple. That's it for today. Ooh. You gotta get on the Patreon for more. <laughs> Here, show your...